I actually started in sales because I wanted to do that, you know, like um, mm-hmm. I was working in a hotel at the reception and I looked at the sales department and I was like, wow, like, and I, these guys are doing meetings with important people, you know, like I would love to do that. Right. But then you notice that these guys have the toughest job actually in the, in the company because they're the lifeline. They, they bring new mm-hmm. business in. Right. Yep. And um, they're under a lot of stress, but when you sit down into them with them on a, on a one-on-one, like the conversations are amazing. They're on point. They know so much. They, they're like super engaging and like um, they, they, they're like coming from the front line of the battlefield. You know? yeah. <laughs> and um, I always found those conversations interesting. And then it's like, all right, I want to go into sales, you know, and um, I use it all the time to kind of better myself and tr- um, improve my mindset and my talking skills and uh, interpersonal skills, you know, body language as well. Um, now, during the COVID era, you know, it was a bit harder to, to, to work on that, but you can still see it through Zoom and everything, you know, so Absolutely. there's a lot of factors that you can improve through a sales job, you know, and then it's not just a job anymore. Yeah, I like how uh, I think what got really got me excited about sales, like first when we started like working with, with so we invested to work with a mentor and then like we got some amazing results. So like within five months, I quit my job, started my own basketball coaching business. I started like getting involved in financial markets. And then I quit my job, like it was all good. And then like, I think our mentor was so impressed with our results that he kind of offered us like a sales job. Like, as you said, like, you know, you get on a call with people, you tell them about what he does. If they sign up, you kind of earn your commission. It was all good. So again, I was never really excited about it. I was never in sales and it wasn't my thing. But then Bob said something, Bob Proctor, Mm -hmm. um, he said something that I really kind of enjoy. He said, it's the highest and the lowest paid job in the world. He said, it's lowest paid if you're not good at it. But it's also the highest paid job if you're really good at it. So then I attended some like sales seminars. Then you see all these, like you see so many people earning like 50, 60, over 100,000 a month. Like it's, it's just crazy, you know? And you think like, oh my God, like this person's just good at sales. Like he has a really good mindset. So like, I'm in that industry, like why not? So again, look, I, I honestly wish you best of luck with, with sales. I hope it just keeps improving for you. But it's probably, it is probably the best, the best industry to, to get in to kind of, work on your mindset and really make yeah. make some you know, yeah. mindset shifts yeah definitely um i definitely love the commission at the end because it comes as a you know like if you put in the effort like you should be rewarded you know and i noticed in, in previous companies that i worked the same job as other people but i was putting more energy into it you know i was like, like engaging with people and talking and some people would just like be yeah. be there to kind of just get through the day you know and then yeah. i was like we shouldn't have the same paycheck, right? And um, in, in those standard jobs, like you can't actually affect it, right? Like if you don't get yeah. a promotion, mm, you're basically paid the yeah. same thing. And sales yeah. is the exception there and recruiting as well because they work commission-based. You basically, based on the amount of effort, time, energy you invest in, you get paid back proportionally. And um, yeah, uh, I just went down that route because I, I think like, hey, if I am willing to put in more, like I should get paid more, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, I, it's a great decision. Like I, I didn't, I actually didn't realize that, that, that you actually do sales in your new job, but look, fair play to you. And again, wish you best of luck. It's good. It's good to get those commissions at the end of the month and yeah, say, okay, yeah. had but a great it, month there. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, it's not for everyone, you know, like, I don't think people want that much stress and um, even like, you know, like uh, organizing yourself, planning out the month and everything like that, that takes a lot of effort and energy. And I, I think that uh, a lot of people don't really want um, like, a, no. I can't say fast, but uh, like a high um, stress environment, you know, like fast paced yeah. environment where they're um, asked on every one of their um, decisions and actions if they can do it better and why hasn't it been better right um so I, yeah i don't think it's for everyone but definitely a great learning experience you know absolutely no it is it is like as you said like it's it's not for everyone like, i know that like to become like a consultant with bob proctor in like, his company it's like a thirty thousand dollars plus you have to pay for your own accommodation and this and that so it's a, quite an investment and there's so many people who come from like a very corporate backgrounds like business backgrounds and they just don't make it. So they get a world-class training by Bob Proctor, they meet him in person, they get certified, like they're a PGI consultant. And now well, it, it's up to them like to make, make a success out of it. And like what you need, you need to sell. See everyone, like, I mean, everyone can become a consultant. Yeah, $30,000, you're a consultant now, but now the hard, the hard part comes and that's getting the, getting clients. 
Yeah, exactly. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.